Hey Scorpio, welcome to your tarot session. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to have this moment with you. Um, it's such a pleasure to start the week with Scorpio. Your reading this comes out every Monday now, so make sure to subscribe and like the video so you don't miss out. Yeah, I'm going to be showing up for you guys every Monday. So, Scorpio, what's happening here? There's something... I have goosebumps. So I'm starting to shuffle the cards. Okay. What's happening with Scorpio? Give me the present moment energy for Scorpio. Why do I want to laugh and giggle? Oh boy. Scorpio, what's happening? Three of Swords and I'm here giggling and laughing. Magician, Seven of Wands. Okay. Let's honor that. There's a lot of energies for you and the star card underneath it all. Makes sense. Okay. Three of Swords, the sacred heart. It takes so much courage to live accordingly to our truth, to our values, to our heart, to fight for what we want. Seven of Wands is a lot about that. It's fighting for what we believe in. And not everyone understands what we're fighting for. Not everyone believes we're, you know, fighting for the right reason or they might be questioning our motives and why we do certain things. It's not about anyone right now. That's what I'm feeling with the magician, Scorpio. This is all about you. How you've been challenged the past Three years. When I see Three of Swords, usually there's something about like a three-year cycle that could be ending. And it feels like you've been fighting for your truth to be heard. You're done fighting. You're done fighting. You are done wasting your energy for people who just are not able to receive your truth, not able to receive your energy, your magic. It's like they don't deserve it. Again, a lot is being dissolved around you. And maybe for a while it felt a little lonely. That's okay. That's okay. I think it was necessary. It's necessary to go through those periods of, of solitude and I know there's a difference between solitude and loneliness, but I think that the period, again, the past three years, I keep going back to this. It's like a three-year cycle ends and there's one last message you need to hear today before this brand new start. Okay, a lot is coming through. Let's see what this is about, Scorpio. You don't need to fight anymore. You're dancing with the energy. You're dancing with source, with your guides, your magic. No one can take your magic away from you. It's, it's you. You have become the magician. And in order to be the magician, we have to be receptive. It's not just about creating. It's about receiving. The infinity loop is a constant receiving, giving, receiving, giving. It's as within, so without. It's how we, yes, share our magic, but also how we listen, how we communicate. Something has been changing in the way you communicate. It's been improving. And for some reason, it's leading you to a space of wealth but like you are redefining what wealth actually means because it's more than just cash it's more than just getting the things that you want the material that you want it's about peace and freedom this is what you have created for yourself a space of peace and it started in solitude. It's something that you cultivated in solitude. But we cannot, you know, stay in hermit mode forever. We cannot 
stay in that space forever. Eventually we need again to be the magician and work with that infinity loop. So something I think is about to change when it comes to your circle, when it comes to the people you spend time with, invest time with, this wealth, this freedom, this energy that is so rich and expensive. It's meant to share with others. And I think this is where you are now. You're very particular, very careful who you share that wealth with. But um, it's meant to be shared. It's a big message I'm getting here. You have more than enough for you and others. And it doesn't have to be about cash. Again, about material. It's this new idea of wealth. And now that your mind is not so preoccupied by certain things that used to take up a lot of space in your mind, in your heart also, in the Three of Swords, in your energy, so much is changing. Okay, the Judgment card. So you see, this is beyond the material. We have, you know, a bunch of naked folks here. It's beyond the material and the looks and the cash. Again, it's this new idea of wealth. It's this new idea of abundance. For a while, maybe you believe abundance looked a certain way. Okay, if I only had enough cash to never worry about this, if I only had a perfect body, if I only had a partner to love me so much, oh, life would be so easy. No, it's not true. That's the thing. It's the biggest lie. It's the lie that, you know, big companies want us to believe. This is something that I repeat a lot in my readings, but it's so true. It's like, Big corporations and big companies, they benefit from us aiding ourselves, from us needing more, needing more stuff. We have enough stuff. We, all of us, I'm sure, we have enough of the junk. We have enough of the stuff. Scorpio, you're going to be invited here to declutter energetically there are a lot of things that you have outgrown i think that you're very careful with what types of things objects you're keeping around your house you want things of value things that are solid and again it's like you're getting rid of the junk and it's not just in the material world it's also cleansing your space energetically and also just letting go. I'm hearing let them go. Let them go. You don't need to be attached to anyone or anything, Scorpio. You are the master of constant death and rebirths. And with the judgment card, magician, this could be a fresh start. It starts in your mind. It definitely starts in your mind as you declutter the heart, declutter the house, declutter the mind. You're making space for something new. This is it. Look at this. This is it. The fool is number zero. I never believed the fool was the leap of faith. And I really honor everyone's interpretation of the tarot. I think it's beautiful that we all have different perspective on cards. To me, the fool will never be a leap of faith because it's number zero. It's the egg. It's who we are, our truest essence. It's the liminal space. It's the moment before the magician and the moment after the world card. It's the in-between, again, the liminal. So right now, there could be many question marks in your mind connected to many different things. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my relationships. I don't really know if I'm going to live here still in five years. I don't really know. 
if this is the work I'm supposed to do. There's a lot that you don't know. And I think that the fool is inviting you to embrace that mystery. You are fixed water, which it's not easy to be fixed water. Like, you know, I'm a Scorpio rising, my sun, moon, and uh, <laughs> my sun, moon, rising, all fixed. So trust me, I know what it what it's like to be fixed. It's very challenging. And sometimes we can feel like change is so out of reach that it's going to take so much for our lives to change because of the fixed energy. It actually, no. Because we are so clear with our values. We are so clear with who we are with that fixed energy. And Scorpios, they know. They know what makes them feel good. I think that the foundation of that is not changing. You know what feels right for you. You know what you value. And still, you might not know exactly what's the next step here. And I think there's a lot of beauty in that. Not knowing, not being fixed on the goal or the outcome of something is actually very important right now. Okay. I'm hearing don't delay pleasure. Don't delay pleasure. Okay. There's there's someone kind of stepping in your your reading. It's weird. It's like there's a peak. There's an energy that's peaking. And I'm hearing a you're the mentor. Oh boy. Okay. L let's pick cards and, and I'll see what's coming through with that. Yeah, okay. Page of Wands is here. There's an apprentice. You're about to take care of an apprentice. You are about to help someone analyze their own darkness. Um, this could be a new friend, a new potential partner, or again, someone that will help you with work if you have a company. Um, I feel like at first it's a little scary because it feels invasive, especially if you've been spending a lot of time alone, if you've been, you know, dealing with your stuff, dealing with your business, your work, your hobbies, and it's just about you right now. It's been just about you for at least the past year here. Um, you're about to help someone work with their darkness. It's like you're, you're helping someone go through a massive rebirth. And at first it might feel like it's taking a lot of your time and energy and you might just feel a little bit overwhelmed. Like why is this person suddenly showing up in my life? Why am I, again, teaching someone important lessons? Like, it's not my job. I think that at first there's a little bit of fear or uncertainty coming up. Like, why is this person so attached to me? Why is this person needing something from me right now? I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um... There's something important about them because you're helping them see something in the darkness, grow in the darkness. And they are helping you get to the light of something. I think that this is going to help you with your confidence. It's going to help you set the tone for something. I need to pick more cards about that. At first, this person feels annoying. And this is what I'm getting. I don't know why, but it's like someone is a little annoying. They really want you to work with them. They really want you to teach them something, show them something. And you're like, oh, that's not my job. I don't know if I have time for this. 
and then you say yes and you initiate a new beginning that's very, very surprising. You're going to be surprised by this. Your future self is thanking you. This person is helping you cut the cord with the past. It's, they're helping you let go of something. Something that's been living rent-free in your mind. So either they're helping you move on from a past relationship or they're helping you see again the light. It's interesting how in the Ten of Swords you see the, the sun rising. There's a little bit of light in the background, especially on the traditional version. But again, you help them tap into their own darkness, which might be a little weird. And they help you see the light. So there's someone that's speaking in your reading, peeking into your life suddenly, unexpectedly. And it could be happening. And I'm, I'm you know, working with the, the predictions that are coming through here. Honoring that. You're going to meet this person, I think, on the first first day of a new season i'm hearing solstice could be midsummer could be there's something about a specific date notice how the star is here how again everything that's happening for you right now is helping you see beyond the facade of the material, what seems obvious, and again, the junk, the material, the illusions that you entertain for so long that you need to look a certain way, you need to own certain things, you need to make a certain amount of money. We're going way beyond that. It's the rebirth after a trip into the underworld. And now you're helping other people travel in the underworld just like you've been doing. There's so much coming through. Yeah, four of wands. Something is destined here. Something happens in perfect synchronicity. Four of wands to me is a perfect energy. Nothing's perfect in life. Only sacred geometry, I would say, is perfect. That's just my opinion. Four of Wands to me is almost perfect. It's the Emperor and the Empress. It's Mars and Venus. I think that right now in the astrology, Mars and Venus are working together, if I'm not mistaken. It's not easy. It's very confusing. It's like we want to go fast. We have this urgency to make a lot of things, do a lot of things. But Venus is like, come on, are you sure it's aligned with your values? Are you sure you're being careful? Yeah, you're ready. A lot of you are starting to build a new project, starting to create the blueprint of something right now. It's destined to happen. It's the perfect timing. Again, you know, Four of Wands is here. I, I heard like midsummer. Um, is it midsummer or is it like summer solstice? There's something about that. It could also be the date of the full moon, the next full moon. There is someone new you will be meeting on a very specific day. Again, full moon or a day that seems like a, a threshold for you, a celebration of something. It's a perfect moment of synchronicity and it is leading you to a new beginning that feels very magical, yet a little confusing. It, it, it seems a little bit too good to be true. If I'm, if I'm like receiving this message, at, you know, with my Scorpio rising heart, I would say it seems a little bit too good to be true. I think that you're still figuring out to work with your boundaries and letting the walls come down because I think you've been hurt in the past. You've been disappointed. You had to fight for people to listen. 
you had to fight to keep people in your life maybe at one point no more i don't i don't think you're ever going to do that ever again maybe you felt like you had to fight for this that's the thing something comes up so easily in the next month or so i would say next four to yeah four weeks for certain, for some reason something comes up so easily that it's almost weird for you to receive it because again the three year cycle that ends you've been fighting constantly feeling like you need to fight to keep people in your life to have things work for you things move smoothly and softly you're definitely working hand in hand with venus with the softness, the, the malleable energy of Venus and the beauty of it. You're working hand in hand with Venus energy right now. I would say if you know astrology a little bit, um, look, at, look up your chart. Where is Venus? Where is Taurus? Where is Libra? Um, there's something changing there is what I'm getting. Okay, let's pick more cards. I want to know more about the Ten of Pentacles. It feels like a threshold for me. With the Ten of Swords. The Fool, the Judgment card, the Ten of Pentacles, the Threshold. Look at that. The World card. You're out of the liminal space before the end of this week. A week after listening to this reading, you're out of an old era, an old energy. It's been sticky. It's been following you around like a little dark cloud. And you've been asking yourself, why? Why is it so hard for people to love me, to like me? Why is it so hard for me to get the truth? Why is it so hard for other people to be clear with their feelings and not play with me like a yo-yo? Like... Again, you are free here. That's the thing. There's so much freedom. And this redefining of wealth and freedom that I felt earlier, it keeps coming through. And there's a full circle moment. A little like, hmm, you could be bumping into someone that broke your heart in the past or someone that was very unsure about you. Someone who's connected to this little dark cloud energy. You're kind of bumping into them randomly and they're like, wow, Scorpio looks freaking good. They're going to be attracted to your energy. But I don't think you care anymore. Again, you're free. I want to validate that for a lot of you, you've been feeling stuck in the quicksand for a while. Stuck in the mud or... You were still productive and still doing things. But there's an area of your life that felt so like suspended in time. You're like, come on. Like, I'm getting older. Life's moving. Everybody's doing a bunch of stuff. And I'm just here and I'm hoping for something to happen. And I don't want to settle for less. I think that this is definitely about someone who refused to settle for less. And you could be so proud of that. I think you're going to be very happy. Your future self is like, thank God you showed yourself a little bit of compassion. Thank God you did not jump into a situation that was unhealthy for you. You did not invest emotionally. You did not, you know, play with your boundaries, play with your values to make someone love you. You're going to be so happy that you remained authentic and aligned with your truth and values again you're working hand in hand with the planet venus right now working hand in hand with venus and i want to pick more card tell me why i'm feeling that you're creating something beautiful the cards are like going crazy a time for healing so venus could be could be connected to healing your body Healing certain body parts or accepting 
parts of your body that were very hard to love in the past, something that you've been judged for in the past. You're reclaiming that beauty. A time for healing, it just wants to come through. And it's the star card. Your hard work is paying off and we have work through your fear. Scorpio, here we have, of course, Saturn. You're about to be rewarded for not following another person's rules. And that might sound very weird and mysterious right now. I would say if there's a feeling coming up as I'm saying this, Keep the reading and come back to it in a few days, in a few weeks. Um, there is something here. You being rewarded for not following the rules when everybody did. You did not do this. You are ready to be your own boss. You are ready to create new rules for yourself. This is, of course, connected to your healing journey. And a healing journey is never done, by the way. Never. We're always going to have new things to heal. Life gets in the way. Life is a spiral. We constantly heal. We go through death and rebirths constantly. You guys are the master of that. We all have a lot to learn from the Scorpio energy. And it's like, you constantly adapt. But that's fucking exhausting. Like, I'm exhausted just having a Scorpio rising and how much death and rebirth I go through every year. I cannot even imagine people with, like, Sun and Scorpio or just, you know, a lot of Scorpios in their charts. And dealing with Scorpios also, uh, when we are in love with a Scorpio, it's, it's complicated. It's complicated. So... I feel like there's something very cyclical. The Page of Wands, I associate a lot with rhythms, with seasons. You're stepping in a new season, clearly. But it's one with new rules. It's one where you dictate the rules. You are the leader. You are the master. You are the teacher here. So I don't know what you've been doing. I don't know what you've been cultivating. You're about to be the one teaching others to do that. You're about to be the one in control. It's like finally you're getting a little bit of control after fighting to be heard, to be seen. So again, this is, yeah, definitely connected to your healing journey, but it's connected to Someone bringing you into the light, which is a very important message of this reading. You're pointing them towards the darkness and how essential it is to dive in the underworld, to do the shadow work, the dark night of the souls and all sorts of things. But they show you the light. And I'm going to be honest, I think that the light is a sacred mirror that's being just held up to your freaking face there's a lot of message here and i feel like the messages i'm getting are super dreamy so be aware of your dream keep a dream journal notice the symbols and the signs synchronicities numbers um the objects you're finding, the animals you're seeing in nature, there are messages coming through from your guides in that way, kind of pointing you towards the light. Um, I'm not supposed to know what it means. I'm not. And I don't think you are supposed to know exactly what this means today. This reading should be digested and it should be revisited. I would say in three days, four, five, maybe a week, but there's something here. It's like it's brewing in, in the cauldron and it will expand each day with you. This message is like, it feels like a, a snowball. It's very weird. Um, thank you for being here, Scorpio. Thank you for letting me embrace my magic and letting me have fun with the messages. I said this last time and I, I really... 
am starting to notice that with the Scorpio Collective, I can honor my intuition in very different ways because you guys are intelligent enough, emotionally intelligent, so you understand how to apply the messages for you. When readers say, take this how it resonates, I think you are the master of doing that. You are able to transform the energies and make it your own. So I thank you for that because it's just such a fun time for me to read for you every week. Again, subscribe, come back next Monday, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Take care. Bye, Scorpio.